is world renowned for their intercom systems, and I'm sure many of you are familiar with the Riedel smart panels from OB trucks or master control rooms. And while these panels are primarily known for their intercom functions, they can also connect to external systems if you purchase the control application license for it. This panel comes equipped with that license, and by using NMOS technology, the Skahoi Blue Pill platform can connect to the panel and make it accessible for the broad range of broadcast and AV control solutions that we provide. In this video, I will demonstrate how this connection works and also showcase an application that goes beyond the usual routing control typically demonstrated on the smart panel. At Skahoi, we are essentially the world experts in control panels equipped with buttons, knobs, faders, and joysticks, and also solutions for how to efficiently link these diverse types of triggers for controlling broadcast and AV devices. And we have applied that expertise to the smart panel from Riedel. So this is the smart panel. It's connected to the network with this cable. And over here, we have a blue pill server. Now, any of our control panels that you'll find demonstrated in many other videos, having the blue pill inside will be able to do the same. Because on the blue pill, we are running an application called XPanel Riedel Smart Panel. And that is the application that connects to the smart panel and makes it possible to consider it a control panel that where we can map the buttons and uh, rotary encoders to functions. So if you look at the panel here, we have a, um, a control application for cameras. It is PDC cameras. So we are sort of missing the joystick, but we can control settings on those cameras. And that's unique. So um, to give you an idea about that, this would be the camera selector part of the panel. So using the lever keys, I can basically select between uh, four cameras that I've added in this case. It is a Panasonic uh, AWUE70. We have a UE150 also Panasonic. Then we have two Canon cameras. So it doesn't really matter which cameras you combine in. And you will know because when we demonstrate PDC controllers from Skahoy, and we have a ton of those, we can mix and match cameras any way we want. And that brings me to show you Reactor. Reactor is our panel orchestration software. It is where our panels, the real smart panel, meets the devices we want to control, and we map those functions around. In many, many cases, you'll be super happy to just pick something out of this list. And you see, we have a comprehensive list of out-of-the-box configurations you can choose between. There's ADA Kumo, we have uh, Riedel uh, for ATEM switches, we have video hubs, Foray, OptoCore. So a lot of video routing applications are there, but we also have generic camera control. And that's the one we have picked for today. And I have added these cameras into the camera selector. And that is essentially what gives you this list of cameras here. If I click the camera selector button, I could also reorder them. So let's just mix that up a little bit. So now notice what happens on, on the smart panel. We are just swapping place for those two cameras I just selected. So that's how we can uh, build up our camera selector. And if you have more than four cameras on it, you will basically find this button being a paging button that will go forth and back. Just like we have presets on the row above. So these presets are recalling presets on the cameras. So if I'm, yeah, that was my selected camera. So as you can see, I'm changing. It will change a little bit what it says up here. There's a, a, a title for the uh, buttons that shows you which camera we are recalling a preset for, et cetera. But if you um, operate this one, you can see I'm paging through the available presets that we have set up for this one. And in this case, we have 30. It's also possible to use the rotary encoders to do the same. So if you use the rotary encoders, you actually find that this has the functionality to go forth and back unless you use the lever key to just cycle through. So lever key will cycle through. The rotary encoder will often go forth and back in these settings. If we move over here, any time we pick a camera, it will affect what this menu shows. Let's get straight to it. I have pulled up the web UI of AWUE70. That is this Panasonic camera. And the fun thing to show you would be recalling presets. So I just recall preset number one. And here we have preset number two being recalled, preset number three, preset number four. So I can obviously do that, preset number six. All right, great. So what about settings over here? We have, and you find the same on our PTC controllers, they will have rotary encoders and also a menu where we can choose between settings. In this case, exposure. So if we want to find exposure mode here, we, we have an ND filter that is typically very easy to see the effect of that one. So you see that I'm now adjusting the ND filter of this camera. And you, I do that with the rotary encoder on it. 
We also have the Canon camera on this page. And likewise, this is a Canon CIN 500. Let's move over to that. Likewise, I can recall presets for this camera. So here is another one. Here's the preset recall and here is the preset recall back to that one and then back to the first one that you just saw. Likewise, over here on these settings, as I could navigate, I have actually many more menu options. Notice that we have home, exposure, we have color settings, we have details, we have matrix settings, focus. So this really depends on the camera and you even have multiple more pages of settings for this one. So preset settings, apparently trace settings, we have system settings eventually. But the one that I wanted to go back to is the exposure, which is one of the typical menus you'll find and or, or maybe color settings. So on color settings, we have white balance mode here. It's currently set to auto. So let's just see if we can change that. Well, we can't because if we go to back to home, we are in full auto shooting mode. And that is a Canon setting that we need to change around. You also see the web UI is just um, flipped over so that if I go between here, there's some things locked down and now I have more things available. So we can now change the white balance mode and we'll see the effect of that. This is manual mode. We can adjust the red gain. So obviously I'm now reducing the red in the picture. I can move on to other white balance settings that is available in the Canon camera, etc. I think you get the point. We are really utilizing what the Riedel smart panel can do. With the encoders, we can adjust settings. With the lever keys, we can act as a button. And we have applied that for cameras having flexible camera selector, you're setting it up inside of Reactor here. So it's all really, really easy. If you want to add more devices, you just add devices here. You can discover them on the network if they have discoverability. Otherwise, we have just a long list of things. We can search up Sony if our um, if our 7 is a PVC camera, but it could also be obviously FX9, or FX6, etc. So all these can be added as devices here and put over here. We can also add tally in these LEDs on the panel, uh, adding an ASIM switch, and etc. The package that is driving the connection, I managed, uh, I told you about that. This is called Riedel, uh, smart, uh, X panel Riedel smart panel. So if I go in here, Essentially, you just need the IP address of the panel, you need the NMOS node port, and then it has to have a server port because for those of you who know what raw panel is, we are converting the smart panel into a raw panel device on the network, which makes it discoverable in our end. If I open this one up, we can quickly see the Riedel smart panel here and those settings are available to us in the Riedel architect web UI. But back on the blue pill, this is how it looks. And by the way, if I wanted to like do this from scratch, I could basically set up a new project. So let's just call it Riedel video. And then on this project, blank as it is, I would just add a new panel, discover panels on the network. It's going to find this one. I could search Riedel. And I think it's actually going to pop up with its uh, serial number. It should pop up. Smart, oh, there we go. It's it's smart panel here. All right. So this is actually the true serial number, and I'm now just connecting to it. You see, it's now connected. By default, it picked a configuration called VMix output control for the Riedel smart panel. So it just picked one of these, or maybe it's prioritized. I'm not really sure. But it's also possible to actually create your own custom configuration, so you can do that if you want, or you can also set it all up as we just saw for the generic camera control by picking that one, then you'll have to add devices, you'll have to discover devices or add them manually from the network. We can see the CIN 500 is right here. So we could pick that out of the list by discovery, adding it over here, adding it by picking it from this list. And now it is selected on the panel. And as I select it, you see it's appearing here in the menu. And likewise, you can add many more cameras as you want. If you go into the configuration tab, then you have the panel sitting here and you can actually overlay that. So if you have like spare keys that you want to assign functionality to, you can use the user section. And in the user section on the panel, you can basically pick a button and then you can assign functionality to it using the inspector over here. And that will like overlay that particular button. But generally, this configuration is driven by automation underneath, which makes it so quick out of the box to have functionality. You just saw that happen in a few seconds. But we can also overlay it with our own custom stuff, or we can do it completely custom from ground up as um, this would allow us to if we pick the uh, custom configuration down there. We are really excited about this integration with the Riedel Smart Panels. And we are sure many of you guys will be interested in using Blue Pill platform, either with a Blue Pill server or your Skahoy panels with the Blue Pill platform on, to include the Riedel Smart Panel in the control applications that you are already planning using Reactor, which is the software running on the Blue Pill platform. 
So this is really great. And uh, thanks for watching this video. If you uh, find this sort of content helpful, then please like and subscribe. We also welcome your comments here on social media, and we would really love to, to talk with you, assist you, and answer any questions you have about this uh, Blue Pill server, the platform, the Regal Smart Panels, etc. And if you have any need for assistance, then don't hesitate to contact our sales or support team. They are always happy to talk to you.